Hello friends and welcome. Today we are going to install CentOS 7 on VirtualBox. You can download it from centos.org. Here is the web page by clicking get to CentOS now and uh, DVD ISO. Click on it. In this page uh, you can see the fastest mirror for your uh, region or country but uh, you can also download it from other mirrors I'm not uh, going to download it now because I've done it already so let's switch to VirtualBox and create our first virtual machine just click on new and provide the uh, virtual machine name like CentOS 7 for example uh, as you can see VirtualBox did detect that we are going to install Linux and Red Hat 64-bit. Uh, um, it is okay for us. We are going to install um, exactly the same. Click next. And uh, for as we are going to install uh, Genome desk Desktop, it is recommended to provide at least one gig of RAM. So I'm going to provide two gigs. For minimal installation, it is recommended to provide um, 512 megabytes of RAM. Let's go click next, next, uh, again next, and uh, provide the disk space. I'm going to provide 10 gigs. And here is it, we have created the first virtual machine, and let's start it by clicking on start. Uh, here we can choose our ISO image that we have downloaded like this uh, and open let's open it and start I will switch to a scale mode view it is more, more suitable for me and choose the one the best one for you and in this menu we can uh, choose test media and after install it troubleshooting and just installing CentOS 7 now I'm going to install CentOS 7 and start the installer uh, yes the installer starts and for the first we are going to choose the language uh, during the installation what the language will install installer use during the installation process I'm going to leave it default like English and United States continue in this menu uh, we are going to provide uh, some options for our system let's start from date and time click on it and you can choose your time zone uh, by clicking on map on your region like this or you can choose it from uh, these drop down menus. Uh, even you can uh, provide date format like 24 hour or AM PM. And if you want to use a uh, network time protocol, you have to enable the networking and after that just turn on this network time like this and uh, provide your uh, entapa server name or IP address here so I'm not going to do this let's see how can we enable our networking by clicking on network and host's name uh, but turning on uh, you by default will obtain uh, IP, uh, IP configuration from your DHCP server if you want to do it manually uh, you have to go to uh, this configuration button click on it and provide your uh, IP configuration manually and about host name we can also change it uh, and all this stuff is possible after installation. So let's just click then. And let's talk about installation source by clicking on it. Uh, here you can see that uh, auto detective installation media is uh, the 
ISO file that we provided to VirtualBox for installation uh, and uh, if you are uh, going to install the system by network installer you have to click here on on the network and uh, provide your uh, ISO file location and uh, also provide the protocol you can see here multiple protocols uh, and if you use any proxy servers you can click uh, here and provide your proxy server credentials but we're not going to let's talk about installation destination this is the 10 gig of our disk that we created in our virtual machine for our virtual machine we, have, we are going to install uh, CentOS 7 here uh, here you can see uh, the two options I will configure partitioning this means uh, we have to provide manual uh, partitioning and uh, automatic configure partitioning uh, this one means that the installer uh, will care about partitioning but now we are going uh, we are not going to use uh, manual partitioning because we will make another video about that uh, and uh, we will use automatic uh, partitioning and let's talk about software selection as you can see by default installer select minimal install let's click on it and here you can see that we can um, install multiple versions of CentOS like minimal install, computer node, uh, file and print server uh, and others but we are going to install uh, GNOME desktop here is it let's click on it and in the right menu you can uh, select uh, add-ons but we are not going to do it so because we can do all that stuff after installation let's click on done Uh, I uh, don't select the installation destination Let's select it and click on begin installation uh, as you can see the installer start uh, making partitioning and other configurations for our system and uh, the last two options we have to provide is root password and uh, we have to create a user let's click on root password as uh, we know the root is a uh, super user for Linux it allows to do everything and it is good to provide as strong as it possible password as we can see the provided password weak let's make it as stronger as it possible there is it it is strong enough now let's repeat the password like this and click done and uh, the last uh, we have to create a user let's call our first user user1 we can make the user administrator user but uh, we will talk about it uh, in other video about users and groups in Linux so let's check out it and uh, require password to use this account uh, we this means that we want that our user provide password before logged in the system we want that our user provide the password so let's create the password now as you can see we are providing weak password uh, it is possible by uh, clicking twice on uh, done button but it is not recommended and here is advanced button let's look at it uh, here we can provide uh, multiple options for our user like um, home directory for our user uh, user ID uh, group ID and we can make uh, our user member of uh, other groups as well but we are not not going to change anything let's click on done as you can see the installation um, finished and it tell, tell us uh, that we have to reboot the system let's click on reboot 
Um, and um, here is the startup process. You can uh, click escape to see what's going on like this. And go back. And here is it. Uh, the system starts and this is a user that we uh, created during the installation process. In any case, if the user are not listed, here uh, you can uh, click on not listed here and provide the username and password. And uh, here is it. We are logged in CentOS 7 uh, GNOME Desktop, and we have to select uh, the language. I will leave it English, United States, and the keyword. Uh, we can add new keywords, but I'm not need. Uh, you can add uh, your uh, cloud uh, account. But I'm not going to do this. Uh, we finished and click on start using CentOS 7. Uh, you will be prompt uh, getting started uh, here and uh, it is helpful to watch these uh, videos. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.